I am doing a $20 20-minute Goodwill challenge. We got $20 and 20 minutes to see how much money we can make flipping this stuff on eBay and Amazon. Let's go. All right, we got ourselves a cart. And the time is, there we go, the time is 1.27. We have until 1.47. Let's see, right off the rip, we got ourselves a Miss Pac-Man plug and play. These things I actually sell all the time. I don't see a price on it, so we'll have to come back for that because we don't have a lot of time. I might have possibly grabbed the squeakiest cart in history, but we don't have time to turn back. Uh, stuffed animals looking a little weak. We're gonna go to the electronics. Hey, red's 50% off. Let's do it. Uh-oh. <laughs> Nothing on the shelves, so uh, we might not even be able to spend our 20. Maybe we will. Maybe we will. Let's see what we got. Uh, an alarm clock. I'm gonna leave the cart right here so it stops squeaking on me. And what's this? Uh, nah, the Sony alarm clocks are the good ones to look out for. Those, maybe not so much. Here we go, some used board games can honestly do okay on Amazon. The Scrabble Junior is $2. Of course, we'd have to check to make sure all the pieces are in here. But what I'm gonna do is scan it in on my Amazon seller app on my phone and see if it's worth anything. All right, it is scanned in. There it is. And $2, brand new, it's selling for 33, used. 15 I'd make about five bucks on it. Do I have time to count all the pieces? Maybe we'll throw it in the cart for now because we got to spend this $20 one way or another This is a pretty cool game right here bargain hunter. Uh, it's five dollars Is it complete? Uh, there's a lot. Oh, well, I like to see that there is rubber band up cards in there So it means somebody might have taken the time to check the pieces. Let's scan it in it's the exciting game called Bargain Hunter. Makes us really hunt out bargains. Handle money. And gives us each a credit card, too. And a credit card machine to run it through. So it wasn't on Amazon, so I had to check eBay. And uh, 20 bucks, not great. Something this big, especially with free shipping. Shipping could be anywhere between 10 and 15 bucks. So we'll leave it. All right, we'll check down this next aisle right here. See if anything pops out to us. This is something that's brand new. I love finding brand new things. It's a deluxe snack pod for the car. $5? Yeah, we'll, we'll scan it in. You never know. Things like this can be surprising. I always like to look up anything that's brand new sealed. You just never know. And, uh, huh, nothing really came up. Lots of barcodes, weird. Barcode brings up a lot of things. Oh, there it is. All right, boom. Selling for $30.99, great rank. Looks like you'll make 20 bucks. So spend five, profit 15, it's going in the cart. Just a bit further down, we have ourselves an Elmer's Go Paint, and it looks like some sort of card game. So, and some Play-Doh clay, all brand new. That's only 50 cents. We're gonna scan all three of these real fast and see what happens. All right, first things first, the Go Paint. Let's see what we got here. Uh, I don't see a rank. Terrible reviews, leaving that behind. The card game, on the other hand, it's restricted. No. So this happens sometimes on Amazon. You can't sell certain things. So it could be good for eBay, depending on the price. $3, so not too bad. We'll throw it in the cart and check eBay in a little bit. And then this clay is the last thing. It's brand new. It's only 50 cents and it's not on Amazon. It's probably not worth that much. We'll leave it behind. Coming right down below, these stepping stone kits I've actually had luck with. This one's only $3. It's heavy, but it could have some value. Let's try scanning it in real fast, seeing what happens. So nobody is on the listing and it has good reviews, so it will sell. Um, I would sell something like this brand new on Amazon. The issue is there's a big old hole in the front of the box right here. So even though it's still brand new sealed, that's something I like to avoid. Uh, you know, you could just tell the buyer it happened in shipping, but I don't do that. We leave it behind, but I know people that do. <laughs> I'm just not gonna be that one. So we're just gonna have to keep digging. The time is 1.33, so we're looking great on time. Coming around the corner here, we just hit the mother load of video games. Now, are any of them actually gonna be worth it? 
That's the question. Looks like a bunch of cheapo Wii titles. The Bigs 2 might be okay. The original Bigs down here, um, probably not. It's also extremely dirty. It's not coming up on camera very well, but that thing is water damaged as can be. Um, Madden 12, I believe Madden 13 is the last Madden on the Wii. That one holds a little bit of value, um, but 12, probably not so much. Wii Ski and Snowboard used to have some value, but this Wii Ski at three bucks, probably not worth it. Uh, I'm gonna do some quick scanning on any of the things that look interesting to me, see if anything's valuable. So of course, none of the games were worth it. We gotta leave the cart here and uh, take a quick bathroom break at, at 1.38. So we're just past the 10 minute mark. I've got nine minutes, I gotta be quick. Bathroom's locked, someone's in there. Okay, I'll have to hold it. Nine minutes to go. We still gotta check that thing up front and count pieces. We are running low on time. Oh, these Jingle Bell Rock Santas actually sell really, really well around Christmas time. I think I sold one this Christmas for almost $100. There's no, oh, there's the price, 12 bucks. Do I wanna use more than half my budget on this? Let's see what it's going for right now. I also have no way to know if it fully works. Do I take the gamble? I'm gonna scan it in, see what happens. Come on, please scan. There we go. So the rank is high right now because it's nowhere near Christmas time, but these do sell really well around Christmas. Brand new for 250, used for 182 or 73. Uh, so it says I'll make 146, it'll probably be less than that. Let's pull it out and try to plug it in real fast. Try to see if we can get this thing working. All right, we have them plugged in on the other end of the store. Music is working. Little shoddy, but it's working. I think we're gonna have to grab him. All right, so he was, it seemed a little shoddy, like the music was cutting in and out. The plug was barely plugged in. Once I held the plug in, it worked perfectly, so we're good there, $12, 15, we're at 17. If this is complete, then we're at 19, but I gotta count pieces. All right, so this Scribble Jr. has a lot of pieces. It looks like 101 cardboard letter tiles and 44 scoring chips. It's gonna take me a little bit and we're at 143. So we got about five minutes. I'm gonna do this as fast as I can. All right, so we lucked out. It is completely complete and we are at 146. Oh my gosh, that took me longer than I thought. Throw it in the cart, off to the register. And there we go, we got our three items equaling $29. And we are gonna head out of here. Just take a quick look up at the plush, see if anything cool stands out. We have like 30 seconds. We have a little dodo bird here, not that good. Nothing here looks good. We have an old Cabbage Patch Kids missing the pants. We'll leave that behind. And yeah, we don't have enough money left for the game up front. It probably costs too much anyway, so we'll take this for some easy profit. All right, so we are out of the Goodwill. I cheated a very little bit at the end. I couldn't help myself. I had to look this up and uh, it was $8. I had to grab it. I'll pop the price up here. It's easy money. So we're just over. Uh, grand total was $27.27. So that's kind of a cool number. But everything in the challenge right here was just under $30 because if you have the Goodwill card, they take 5% off your grand total. So even though this equaled 29 after tax, it was still under third, uh, equal 19 under tax, it was still under. So not bad. I'm happy, I'm very happy about it. Definitely successful, you can make money in less than, well, it took me about 22 minutes to get out of there. So not too shabby. If you guys enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, comment down below if you have any questions at all. Subscribe if you haven't already. This is Thrift School, signing out. See ya.